Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3! I, I, I missed something here on the pirate homeworld. I actually saw it as we were doing footage what? for it. What? I, 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 I just... What did you miss me, bucko? Well, you know how the lore is really easy to miss? Yeah. Well, it's right there. <laughs> this is This is the Leviathan. Oh yeah, I want to read this. Our leader provided us with great wisdom on many subjects, including the improvement of our mighty battleship Colossus. We followed our teachings and turned our vessel into a ship without peer. But more work remained! Dark Samus required a mighty flagship, one to strike terror into the hearts of our enemies. The might of Colossus was not enough. She demanded more! Her solution was unique and most excellent. We took her great star beast and fitted with cybernetic weapon systems. Crew quarters and command consoles were placed within the beast's skull. In time, we created a mighty de dreadnought and called it Leviathan. The great leader was pleased. Okay, I know she currently controls all the space pirates. Yes. But I really want to see Dark Samus as an actual pirate captain, complete with hat, sword, everything else. I mean, I know she's got, like, arm cannons see, and all that stuff. You see, you're not focusing on the space part, and you're really focusing on the pirate part. Yo-ho! No, Yo-ho! No, no, not no. A no. pirate's life for Dark no, Samus! No, yo-ho! There's no rum in space! Says you! Come on. Dark the... Samus disavowed any Renny rum! Yeah, every time somebody said, but what about the rum, ma'am? All right, so. Oh, yeah, where are we heading? We can go to uh, the Valhalla and do some endgame stuff. We can start the final assault at the Pirate Homeworld. But we're going to do today and for this week. Clean up. Is clean up. Clean up. Everybody clean up. Clean We've got up. all the weapons, all the upgrades that we need in order to start cleaning up the planets. And we're gonna be finishing up Norian and a little bit of Brio today. I knew that arm cannon would become a power washer. It's time to clean up. We're like a V-chip in a television set and making sure that you don't hear any bad words in your children's programming. We're gonna clean up! Was that actually a thing? V-chips? Oh yeah. A self-bleeping chip inside of a television. I think it just turns off the program, you know, just said, oh, you, you, you're, you can't watch this, it's restricted programming. So wait, they actually made a net nanny for a TV? It didn't really work. I mean, this isn't really a net nanny, it's kind of like, it's... So, something in televisions around the 90s and early 2000s, and just, uh, oh, this is a restricted program, you know, probably checks the TV MA, and it's like, oh, can't watch this, yep, put in get, a password. get out of here. Did you ever have net nanny, by the way? No. My dad installed that on my computer. Oh, dear me. I think the funniest part is he used his normal password that he used for everything, oh, so I immediately disabled it. Oh, dear. And then if he ever came downstairs, I would quickly type the password back in and then close my browser. <laughs> I'm just playing cool math games, Dad. Honestly, it didn't let me into gaming websites because some of the content was rated M, so I had oh, to disable God. it for that. And then, of course, also the naked ladies I wanted to look at. Yeah! We're in the middle Must have been rough being 22. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You weren't supposed to say it! You have this forbidden knowledge that you shouldn't be saying, okay? I'm just glad you found your in your independence, finally. I had to move out to get it! <laughs> How much more stuff could there be here on Norian? Uh, there's a few things. I mean, there's an entire leg of the of the planet we didn't go to because Rundus was there. I did see that, yes. So, could we have done this as soon as we defeated Rundus? No. There's a lot of things that we still need to get everything here, because that's what we're doing. We're getting everything. All the pickups. This first one, it's, well, pretty self-explanatory. Let's use Ice Missile. And, well, there you go. Oh. That's, that's been there the whole time? Holy yeah. cow. Well, yeah. Alright, another missile pack. Nice. See, the problem with the game telling you exactly where to go- <gasps> Oh, hey! That means we unlocked the special ending! That's all it took? She'll actually take off her helmet and show herself now. Wait a minute, that- For 75%? Yep. What on earth do you get for 100? Even an even secret or ending. Oh, sweet. Ooh. Okay, I, I honestly thought they gave us the best end result right now. <laughs> At 75%. Okay, so still still something for 100. I like it. I think it's too, uh... Good day, Samus. You may want to rethink heading into this section of the facility. Oh, yeah? The area beyond this door is overrun with spent phase on from the initial pirate invasion. Mm. The locking mechanism was damaged and is currently inoperable. It is scheduled it sounds for repairs, bad. But considering what I like bad. 
I'm not surprised the welding engineers haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. Hmm, don't you know, sir? My middle name is Danger. Yep. That's right. Yep, wait, wait, Sam is yep. Danger Aaron. Oh, it goes like way faster now. Woo! Sheesh. And it actually connects. You don't have to be pinpoint accurate. I could solder an entire motherboard at this rate. Generator access. So this is down to where uh, Rundus was. Wait, we gave him access to all this stuff? Well, yeah, remember when we were uh, doing the initial uh, defense yeah. against? He's like, I'll go ahead and take care of this one. You go ahead and go on. I guess it was before he got corrupted, so that's okay. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to show them in action. It's thanks to Rundus that this place got saved. And that's why we won't forget him. Who? Rundus. He was the robot guy. Wait, or maybe he was the ice guy. I don't remember. It's probably the girl. Per Shapeshifter. No, that was... G Gabriel? G Gorb? No, Gord was the, the... That's the vegetable. And I think that... Oh. Oh. Oh, no. What the hell? It's liquid phase on! It's basically just a biomass of living phase on! Spits bugs out! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, the first vibe I got from that was the Goosebumps book Monster Blood 4, where it was like blue slugs. It's Monster Blood 5. Yeah, I love it! What's up, R.L. Stein? Give us a call. We have an idea for another Goosebumps book, if you ever want to go back to making them. Dude, what, what if Slappy the Dummy got hit by an X-Parasite? <laughs> Absolute horror. Or the Haunted Mask got taken over, over by Phazon. Ugh. You ever seen the Goosebumps movie? No. The most recent one? There's two of them. There's two of them. Yes, there are, but I haven't seen either of them. The first one's really good. Second one doesn't have anything to do with the first one, so why bother? Uh, oh, well. So that's the uh, the Olympus lore, if you missed it, well, I'm back when you are on the Olympus. Oh, okay. And here we have Skytown. Skytown is a network of advanced structures floating in the atmosphere of planet Elysia. Most of the base is dedicated to research from a local news yep. military. It's Skytown. a spy station, and a rural unit that analyzes the vast amount of data collected by the station is supported by the Elysians, a group of sentient mechanoids that live within the base. Okay. How fantastically interesting. No, man, it's great. I love lore. And, of course... Space fire. Brio. Oh, Brio. Okay. I actually like this one. Federation scouts discovered the planet Brio 10 years ago. The planet's alignment makes most of its surface uninhabitable. 48% of the world is always exposed to the sun, with another 48 shrouded in permanent night. The remaining 4% lies in an equatorial ring of fertile jungle where the bulk of Brio's bioforms dwell. And where they're fighting. Oh. Fuel I... Uh, fuel gel is common on Brio, which makes it extremely important to the Federation. The local bioforms are quite primitive, though there are ruins that indicate an advanced culture thrived on Brio in centuries past. So, this place is so war-torn, it's like, huh, there might have been some society here once at one point, maybe. Uh, in the last 4%. And this is, of course, where all the lore comes from, essentially. This thing's making me read... That's, that's that's just that's just really interesting to me. The entire planet is either in constant yeah constant heat or permanent night, and you don't you only have like this this sliver of of, of jungle in, in the in the perfect zone. And it's war torn. <laughs> and it's completely war torn. God, what a miserable planet. Prime for uh, putting phase on and, and oh, speaking of phase on, that's that's glowing. Uh, oh, what are these things? They're very jovial. Look at them go. Oh, what are these? What are these little things called? A little jumping around and just having hoppers, a party, and dancing around, and hopping Metroids. Oh, susceptible to cold base attacks. That's a funny way of saying one charge Nova shot should take care of it. Oh, d oh yeah, it does. They pop. Let's even get some radiant damage out of that. I was about to say that first one didn't pop, but it still did enough. Like, it eventually died. Jesus, that Nova Beam is powerful. Yes, it is. It's so muted, too. You think that it's weaker than it is, but it's just so, oh. so clean oh, and no. powerful. Do you see those 
pow those orbiting powers that it has, those orbs of pure energy. No, this thing's powerful. Yes. Also, it makes things burn. Oh, that thing went hyper. Oh well, it's dead. I mean, at this point, oh no, something went hyper. Oh no, something went hyper. What are we going to do besides blast it? Chris, I think to come through here, you would at least you would at least need the plasma beam. So this would be a little challenging if you try to do it then, I suppose. I can see it. Oh, and there's the landing strip. There's a landing strip. Oh, and we got some some liquid phase on to. Oh, the phase on goop. Ew. Yeah. Did they have anything like this in uh, Prime One or Two? I'm trying to remember. Because maybe this is a you know they finally had the tech to do it in the Wii. I think they had some liquid uh, enemies, maybe. Probably not to this degree, though. Multi-lock blast shield. It's, you also need the seeker missiles, I suppose. To really get any, any use out of here. Got a security gate that's permanently closed for some reason. What are they hiding? Like, this gate will never open. Maybe this is the way that Rundus took to get to where he needed to go for the generator, but uh, we can just go ahead and take this ball tunnel that's very convenient. Very convenient ball tunnel, yes. Lovely. <clears throat> yes, well. So, uh... So how about those Metroids? <laughs> how about those loading times, yeah? Alright, come on. Yeah, there, oh, there, there, there. there we go, there we go. Oh, oh my god. And I'm trapped in here. Lovely. No, you're not trapped in here with them. They're trapped in here with me. Oh, they start glowing. Yep. Oh, it's a Metroid hatcher! Another one! They're hatching Metroids here too? Turn on your x-ray vision and shoot that glowing thing. What? There you go. I'm sorry, they invented a quick kill for their new mini-boss variant? You turn on the x-ray visor, then you can shoot the that glowing organ within the Metroid Hatcher. The core. It kills it automatically. That is awesome. It's also why we waited to come here. You see. To kill it fast. It got easier the more we waited. Oh, I mean, I should hope so. After so many Metroid games, I I should hope it's not still difficult by the 75% to 90% mark. I mean, they expect certain things out of me. They do, they do. Oh, this for an energy tank. Energy cell, I suppose. That's actually really nice that, you know, this is an intimidating enemy and all of a sudden it's not if you know the trick. Is that ever explained that you can use the x-ray and shoot the core? Not really. I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah, so that's just a fun trick. Maybe it's uh, in the logbook and the more detailed explanation. Oh, probably. Like, after you scan it, you can see uh, possible weaknesses. Yeah. Uh, you can find the radiating core if you look hard enough through the x-ray scope. And starting from 2, they give you just, you know, one-page synopsis. And it's like, if you want to know more, pr you, can pro you can pause the game and press, press the 1 button, and we'll bring up the entire dossier on this thing. And maybe it'll say, you know, if you had x-ray vision, you could probably shoot the big ol' heart inside of him. Maybe it's uh, Samus' own personal notes, like, there's a possibility that using the x-ray scope can show me something more easily shot. That sounds... Mm. You know, I can see her documenting a lot of the stuff she's killing. You gotta be a smart person to have a job like this and be as good as she is at it. <laughs> Special Samus notes, dies easy, not worth time. <laughs> Not worth the pulling of the trigger. Now, is that everything in this area? Well, come up here on top of the ship. Oh, that's so good! It's a piece of lore! It's Planet Norian's log file! They stashed it up here? They're located on the fringe of the Federation. The Planet Norian is of great importance. The military maintains a strong presence in the sector, and the base on Norion is often the first line of defense against enemies that operate outside of GF space. Originally a barren orb incapable of sustaining life, a sophisticated terraforming project designed by Aura Unit 486 has turned Norion into a hardy forest world. Oh, so why can't we do that to Brio? Too much war. Too much war. Too much war. Well, I think we're done here. I think we just got about everything. Yeah, that's it. Yep, we got we we got everything. 
So they don't give you a notification saying you got everything. Nope, you just gotta rely on your own eyes, ears, and uh, your own confidence, I suppose. Your own completion dossier. And we look at the map here. Because we did that, uh, that satellite over in Skytown. We can see everything is an X here. <sighs> Except for that! Oh yeah, what is that? That's a pickup we haven't got yet. Oh, I want to get that. We're going to go get that. Yeah, let's go get that. I'm trying to think of what that was. It's very subtle. Yeah, it's in the same room as the landing post. Exactly. So what could be there? We didn't see, like, you know, a seeker missile oh, door. Oh, I, I got it. What? Oh, it's Ridley scan data from your Metroid Prime. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn, I'm, I'm gonna hit some buttons yeah. here <laughs> and pull some levers and delete that joke yeah. and reduce pay and... <laughs> what do you mean I'm on the cutting room floor? <laughs> yeah, the place looks pretty open. I'm not sure what they could have here. You have to stand on top of the ship. Oh, wait. I what? saw that vent on top. What do you see? I saw a vent. You think you see something? Yeah. Well, let's see what you see, what you saw, what you thought you saw. Let's get sus. All right, we'll get sus. Aha! A spider ball ramp! There it is. Yeah, because I saw this when we landed. And... That's the stuff. Now we got everything. That's the stuff. Hmm. Yeah, right. And we're done. Yeah, I see you checking the map just to make sure. Just to, just to, just in case. Yep, just, just in, case. in case. But I think we got it all. Looking good, mate. Yep, all good. Even got that one out, out there on the edge of the map. <laughs> checking every conceivable angle. Did I miss anything? Please. Okay, take ten minutes and look through the map. <laughs> Thank God for crossfades. Oh, no, 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 we're gonna look through all of it, because you need to know, too, that I got everything. Physical proof! <laughs> I got it! Yes, that is Norion all taken care of. One out of four? Four, four planets down? Doing well. 100% at least? Kind of five, really. Five being the last one? Yeah. Okay. Next, we're moving on to start Brio. But there's so much war there. How many collect- Oh, there's a landing pad we haven't even checked. All right. We're See, in there. It's a, it's a big map, so there's still a lot here. See, Noran was relatively small. It's, it's, that's your opening level, essentially. Mm -hmm. but this, this, is a, this is a big place. So there's a lot here. There's a lot that we missed. It can't be too much because we're at, what, 77% of completion now? Well, yeah. So, but there's, there's a lot here, though. Well, that's true, that's true. Maybe some extra lore. I mean, this place is the jungle area, the ice area, and the fire area. All in one. Oh, the big collection of normal places in video games. You can actually see on the planet the perpetual dark half, the, uh, what, the gaseous half, and then the forest right there in the middle. I think I love Brio. It might be one of my favorite planets in the Metroid series. Just its... It's ecosystem, it's tragedy, it's history. The song that plays. The fact that they thought of a lot of things. I thought you were about to show me a sick trick where there's an item underneath the first bridge. <laughs> oh, we can now melt this ice. Maybe not those things, but definitely that. Oh, like butter. We can melt all the ice now, except the contextual ice. That's for the no, best. that's a good thing. Yeah, that's good, okay. We, we accept that. We got screw attack, we can melt this now. <laughs> but do you want to? Maybe you could try welding the bridge, see if that'll snap it in pieces. Oh, yeah. Reptilicuses, or... Reptilici? Now, I like reptilicuses, because it sounds like they're, you know, sh shouting obscenities at you. <laughs> Reptilicuses, I mean, it's just profanity for lizards. Dude! Sorry, sorry. I really should uh, have a filter for that kind of stuff. We. You know the conspiracy that uh, certain people are uh, secretly lizard men wearing human skin suits? 
No. What, what about it? I think it's funny, like, I've made some weird sound effects in my life just because of, you know, just having a laugh, but also I'm, I laugh a lot. So I, I make weird sound effects every now and again. It's just my lizard coming out. Put that lizard away. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, there we go. <laughs> hey, missile pack. See, I like to pretend to be a lizard, too. I just spit on people. Don't spit on people! I pop my collar and go, ha! Ah! <laughs> no, you pop your cool kid- Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Work. Pop your cool kid's collar. Yo, what's up? I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, God! Man. Why does your acid burn? Man, why does so your cool. spit burn? It's so cool! You put the sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any point to melting the ice, by the way? Are there items hidden underneath it? Or it feels good, okay? One specific spot, maybe? I like it! It makes me smile! Good. We need more of that. That's all you need! <laughs> we have an emotional lizard. It's just the idea of, you know, backtracking. You see, the best Metroid games are the ones where backtracking feels like that, you know, you're playing a whole new level. Because... Yeah, you got new powers, so traversal has changed a little bit, it, it's, it, stuff's easier now, and there's more stuff to do, of course, you can just go over here now and do all that. I think a majority of them have that good feel. So being able to break ice with your beam now, it's just, it's just one of the cool things you can do while you're back here again. See, I remember playing Super Metroid for the first time, and there were so many sections that had, like, their own ecosystem, but you had to have a specific item to get there. So, put it on your to-do list, and then when you come back, it's just like, oh my gosh, I can actually go even farther. Fusion had a good example of that, too. With this game, you see stuff that you don't even recognize as, oh yeah, I gotta come back for that. Like, did you even see those uh, screw attack jump panels the first time through? No, they you probably didn't. just look like mirror walls. Because you didn't recognize them at first. Honestly, uh, I would have forgotten about them. <laughs> I would have to come back to the planet, see where the dots are on the map, and be like, alright, we're heading there. We could do some platform dropping, but with the with the clever enough screw attack, you can get up there. Just kind of line it up, just so. You Show gotta, me the skills. He's got to up, up, and like that. Easy. He's got to get the timing right. Oh, more of these things. It's doomsday for these things. I'm sorry, young buglings, but you're not going to survive against this thing. Nah. And a transitional screen here. Just gives us a chance to listen to the cool song in the background. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Let's, did, aim, let's aim here. Did, did I just experience your Wemo have drift? <laughs> what on earth was that? I think I just got frantic there. Salvation! The great machines of the science lords performed flawlessly. They absorbed the toxins and pollution in the air and soil, preserving the remaining fertile land of Brio. Yet the planet's climate was forever changed, leaving one side eternally scorched by the sun, the other forever in the icy grasp of darkness. The launch of the machines revealed the hidden enclave of the science lords to their former enemies. The bright lights in the skies caused by the, de the decant anime... Decontamination equipment stirred old hatred in the hearts of the primals. Fearing a new attack, the primals sent their warriors forth to hunt their hated... Oh enemies. My. So, yeah, that just made the war even worse. So, in science terms, does this technically mean their planet has stopped rotating? Since one side is perpetually in darkness and one side scorched? I think it's just the way that it's rotated, because there I think there's like two suns. That so no matter the way it rotates, the sun is always hitting one side of it, and then I, I, I think the way that it's positioned darkness always is on the other side. God, that's gotta suck. It's like, hey, did you wake up at five in the morning? No, what time is it? I can't tell. The sun's not out. I think if you look at the actual planet of Brio, even the equatorial part is not exactly, you know, a perfect ring. Mm -hmm. So it looks like that. It's just one part being exposed to sunlight and one part that's not getting any. It's really interesting. Speaking of interesting, we're gonna need that. Oh, I think they censored out the lava down there. It's too hot for TV. <laughs> no. <laughs> TV MA, and then your screen goes black. D Damn it, V-Chip! I was watching that! We're gonna need this. 
this head of a giant? I don't know what for yet, but trust me, we're gonna need it. A colossal mammoth brain? Or... God, I don't know. Just gotta take this thing out. Alright. We'll need it for later. Oh, please, last rock don't fall. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, okay, it didn't fall on us. That's good. That's good. Now we can just jump here in the lava. Pro gamer move. I just realized you're not getting hurt because you have the, the special suit. The hazard suit! There we go. You can thank even you, go in a waterfall of this stuff and not get hurt. Perfect. Good shit. Because there is another missile expansion underneath here. If I can just get out of the goddamn lava. Come on, come on. It's there. nice and thick. It is thick. It's like burning hot honey. You know, for some reason, when I was trying to think of the word hazard suit, my brain immediately went to trash bag suit because that's what you put some hazardous materials in. <laughs> it's a hazmat suit! <laughs> trash bag suit, awesome. <laughs> Doesn't protect from much, but it protects you from what it, you need to be protected from. Just not enemy attacks, unfortunately. Yeah, it could have been called a hazmat suit, but you don't have mat. No one can have mat. No one has mat. Then one Federation guy is like, My name's Matt! Can I have the suit? Does anybody have you, Matt? No. Get out of here! Oh. Goes home to his wife and kids. You'll have Matt, right? Time to do some sick tricks. Aw, oh, sick tricks! Get oh. There is oh. another oh, one. Oh, okay. Sick tricks. We get a lot of missile expansions here. We're just it's essentially getting the rest. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. There's another pickup in here, but we can't we can't get it yet. What? Can't get it yet. I thought we had everything. We do have everything, but we can't get it yet. Why? Right. We'll see. Do we have to place the head somewhere. Well, we gotta place something, but it's not what we have yet. Oh, okay. I've learned to not like this room. Uh. Is that why? That thing always gives me trouble. Either I, I, I just can't grab it right away, or it just it just isn't working. For some reason, that always gives me trouble. There's wasps that show up here, and these things that you can blow up. It's very easily now. It's a nuisance, really. But whatever. I did find a neat little trick, though. You can just look up here, and then just grab onto that, and oh. save yourself a little bit of time. But I gotta remember which way I gotta turn. It was the other way. That's all right. That's all right. That's okay. Then just make your way through here and hope these things don't hurt me too bad. You know something I just realized, and tell me if this has been the same as every other Metroid Prime. Do you change where? You uh oh, I didn't see that coming. Uh. Crap. Well, I guess we're gonna have to drop it and land it then. But that's okay, we can always get it again. Drops it right back where it was. Right back where it was. We'll have to go get that later, but that's just... that that that's fine. But, uh, when you're using the Wiimote and you're looking all the way left, is that how you turn left and turn right? Yes. Okay. But if you go too far off, there'll be like a little icon on screen. It'll start flashing yellow and then it'll say, Hey, you're, you're too off the screen. Okay. Well... Next time in Metroid Prime 3, we're getting the rest of the stuff here on Brio, and we gotta... We gotta go get that thing again, but that's... That's that, okay. That, that's okay? Yeah. That's... That's okay. We got... We, we got a lot more to get, so we'll see you next time.